Greetings all you beautiful people of YouTube. I'm George, your friendly neighborhood infidel, and today I have an unboxing. I acquired a new knife within the past few days. It came in the mail, but uh, we're gonna do the unboxing here. The maker is Andre de Villiers, and I hope I'm saying the name right, but the knife came with his business card, which I will put all the description, all the information in the description below. It also came with a sticker, ADV, Andre de Villiers. It's a lifestyle. Very cool. This is his logo. The knife also came with a padded Velcro shut storage pouch, if you were so inclined to store it in here. And of course it has the maker's name right there. Like I said, I hope I said that last name right. I took a shot at it. But this knife came in a absolutely beautiful wooden uh, presentation box. It's got his logo on top. It's got, what's it got? Some nautical stuff on this side. An anchor over there. Skulls and more nautical stuff. Got the compass, just like, you know, my compass tattoo. And a couple of cross swords on the last side. And on the bottom, uh, it has his website as well as a pirate ship. The box is dovetail construction and I do believe, if I'm not mistaken, I did pay a few extra dollars to get this box, but I love wood boxes so that was just another selling point for me. Now for the main event. This knife, absolutely beautiful. It is a slip joint. Now Andre makes a flipper version that's slightly bigger that I absolutely need to add to my collection someday soon. But for now, I got in when his books opened up on this slip joint version. The handle is bone. The bolsters are stainless steel. Very nice lockup, and by lockup I mean because it's a slip joint there is no actual lock, but as you heard it snaps into place very well. You have a beautiful sheep's foot design. This is kind of his signature design on his blades. The steel is D2. For those that don't know, D2 is a tool steel kind of thing you would see on files or drill bits or saw blades. You know, the kind of tool is made for cutting, and depending on how you heat treat it, it can determine its uh, application. Now, I'm not sure what the heat treat is on this one in particular, but Andre's knives are legit, so I have no doubt this thing is very well heat treated. But uh, you have, this is called the Pocket Butcher, which you have uh, right there. I'm not sure if this camera's gonna focus. But then you have his name stamped on the blade. An absolutely beautiful knife. Uh, forget the blade length. One, two. It could be three inches. It could be two and three quarters to three inches. You know, on a slip joint, you're not going to want a overly huge blade. But uh, very nice. You got kind of a double cutout right here for how you want to hold the knife, either back like so, or a little bit further up. And for a slip joint, that's kind of how I hold the knife when I cut with it. Love the sheep's foot design. Perfect for opening boxes and whatnot because it kind of had that razor blade shape to it. Uh, it tapers down towards the end. Has a very nice lanyard hole. And I'm not really one for lanyards, but I tell you what, if I can find a nice, maybe copper bead, I may put a lanyard on this thing. Absolutely beautiful knife. Absolutely in love with it. There is no center stop on this particular slip joint. On a lot of slip joints, when you get to this point, it will have a sort of a lockup where it just, the blade just kind of stops and then you have to overcome it again to finish opening it. But this one does not. It just closes from open all the way to close. But 
that's neither good nor bad. It's it just it is part of this particular knife style. So beautiful knife. Very happy with it. Thank you to Andre. Hope you know if you're watching. Thank you. Hope I didn't mess up on your name too badly. But uh, a great knife, and I can't wait to carry this thing today. So thanks for watching, everybody. I'm out of here. Until next time. Hope you're all doing well. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'm out. Peace.